So my question is this. If I were to go down to Toys R Us and buy a Fisher Price My First calculator, it would basically have four functions, plus, minus, divide, equals, right? That's very complicated stuff. An, a tabulating machine, if I understand it correctly, should either add a vote or not. There should be no subtraction features, no multiplication, no division. It's either an add or it's not. It's a very simple set of codes in there. Well, what's in there that they don't want us to see? What is in there? I have no idea. Mm -hmm. The proprietary software they say they need to protect against uh, Against what? It's, it's, an, it's, 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 it's taking pebbles and going one, two, oh, don't take one, three, Okay, don't take one. Four, that's all it is. It's an adding machine. It's a simple adding machine. And yet the election, the county election officials, state, federal, no one's ever looked no one's allowed to look at it. And Diebold officially has this line that says, We don't see the advantage of people seeing it. I'm like, okay. And it's like then another one said, Well, people wouldn't understand what they were looking at. Then of course they froze because they realized who they're talking to. I say, I'm the person who audits all of your major banking operations. And when I when I go and audit Diebold banking machines, we're given complete access to all their code. Because banks insist on it. I mean, and that's complicated stuff. A bank machine has to add, subtract, divide, you can transfer accounts. It's usually in Spanish and English, sometimes it's even in more languages. There's hundreds of functions inside these things. You've got to audit all that code to make sure that data isn't lost, that things are that's not corrupted, that there aren't overrides in it, that it counts the cash correctly. These are complicated processes. A voting machine, you either said yes or no. It's a Boolean equation. It should be very simple. You're saying that there's more security in the dispensing of $20 bills than in the transfer of the ballot that I cast. I, what I'm saying is we're allowed to inspect every function of banking to make sure the $20 bills are distributed properly, but we're not allowed to inspect any of the functions of your vote. Why?